in my description if anyone wants to be part of my Substance ASMR video my emails in my description I greatly appreciate it on who submits I think I've got 9 if I've got 10 that's enough I'm happy to have more than 10 I'll I'll, I'll close it off when I reach 10,000 subscribers when I reach 10,000 subscribers uh, I'll call it a day sample um amazon lets you read free samples so the link is in the description it's one dollar one dollar one dollar and leave five stars leave a five star review it really helps thank you thank you thank you thank you yesterday uh i was uh i was with with a buddy where we were at church and there were a lot of women a lot of women mind you this guy's in a relationship he was talking to girls left right and center and when it was time to go home he still wanted to talk to them i'm like bro you're in a relationship i don't know if he just enjoys the the pursuits like the the, the thing of approaching the girl getting her getting her to open up and yada 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 i don't know if that's just the thing that he enjoys because he wasn't as enthusiastic about talking to random dudes if you were to say let's go talk to dudes he wouldn't be like, he'd be like what so i'm like why are you so interested in talking to these girls you're in a relationship i don't know i'm not trying to make myself sound like some sort of saint or whatever but my girl wouldn't have to worry about me i genuinely I don't care. I wasn't uh, particularly interested because yes, like this past Friday and Saturday it was a, like a church conference thing, so there were a lot of young people, and I think obviously part of it is the most the, the the main reason people are there is to hear the messages being shared, but obviously people also want to meet people. What do they say? So they say the main places where people find romantic partners, it's work, it's school, and it's church. Those are the three biggest ones. Work, school, and church. That's where you're most likely to find a partner. And even like when the whole thing started, when the event started, like, uh, one of the people on the stage was straight up just like, hey, this is a great place for you to find a partner. <laughs> straight up, they weren't joking, they were being serious. Like, you can... You can find a partner here. Uh, so pro tip for anyone looking for um, 
um, apartment, go to church. Because there's not many places in society, once you cross a certain age, there's not many places in society like uh, you can find people, meet people in general, like to make friends, but especially like to make, uh, to find romantic partners. It's very hard once you like, once you leave varsity and stuff, it's very difficult. So school, work, and um, church. And the thing about work is people have stigmatized workplace romance as if that's by itself a bad thing. Obviously, we should stay away from like harassment and all these things, but I don't think we should demonize workplace um, workplace romance. I don't, I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with that because there's very few places you can meet people. It's oh, well, humans, we're not robots. It's like you can't like leave your emotions at home for some nonsense like that. I understand the importance of keeping the, the workplace professional, but you can do that. You can set guidelines and say when you're at work, like don't don't be unprofessional and da 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 da. Like these are the rules, guys. Whatever you do in your own private time, whatever you do after work is your own business. But like people flip out and they find out that so-and-so from this department is dating so-and-so from that department and it becomes all a whole scandal it's like no like it's okay guys it's okay because there's very few places to meet people so church is one of the places so a lot of people show up to events like this uh <laughs> just got a message anyway um a lot of people show up to events <laughs> No, I got I don't know, anyway, anyway. Um, they show up to events like that, looking for love. But I'm like, the, the, the homie I was with, he's actually the one that just messaged me just now. But anyway, the homie I was with, he, he was actually talking to Hans. I'm like, oh, you got a Han at all? What are, you, what are you doing? I didn't say that to him, but I was thinking that. I was like, you got a girl at home. I actually did say that. It's, it's like, bro, let's go home. Like, the event is over. These guys are like, no, no. Like, I was with other, another guy as well. Like, like, you know, we want to. I left them there. I don't know if they went on to <laughs> to go talk to more girls or whatnot. Uh, I didn't care. In my mind, when I was going to the event, uh, I was literally just going to hear the message, take notes. Um, and yeah apply that to my life. and that's exactly what happened i went there heard the message and it was convicting and i was like oh wow i got a lot of things in my life i need to sort out yada 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 and then i was like okay it's time to go home finally it was long guys it was long i was supposed to go to church today but i was like oh, i've had enough because it was friday and then saturday the whole day saturday and then i was like to go on sunday again nah <laughs> maybe <laughs> oh my god i don't want to sound like a bad christian but i'm tired so I just stayed in today. But anyway, um, homeboy and the other guy, they stayed. When I left, they stayed. And I don't know if they were out there trying to mack on, on Hans. And I was having a chat with them earlier that day about, like, uh, you know, the guy was saying, that some of these girls that will be talking to guys at this event, they'll have boyfriends, but they're keeping the options open. That's what a lot of people do. When you're talking to someone, don't assume they're single just because they're being open to you. They might have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but they're just keeping the options open. So if a girl's talking to some guy and he's being nice and, you know, he's entertaining her, don't assume that he's single. Treacherous. I was like, that's crazy to me. And the argument they were making was like, uh, yeah, what if you're with the wrong person? What if the person you're talking to at that event is the one and the person you're in a relationship is not the one? Yeah, they, I'm like, what? But you shouldn't be with them if you don't think that they're the, they're the one. You know? People are actually trying to rationalize cheating, dude. You're cheating. You're cheating. You're cheating. 
That's all you're doing, you're cheating. <sighs> treachery, dude. Treacherous. These streets are treacherous. Now, that's not my position. My position is um, you only need one girl. Though. Find out more about her. And then if you decide you like her, convince to her, and then that's that. It, 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 it. End of story. Like you don't need to go beyond that. You don't need to start you don't need to keep your options open, all that all that nonsense. You don't need to be doing all that. So you know it's concerning. But yeah, that's that's modern dating in a nutshell. Everyone does it. Girls do it, guys do it. It's just it's a mess. It's a mess, dude. And again, I, I, I don't want to sound like some saint or whatnot, but I genuinely feel like my girl has not nothing to worry about with me when it comes to that, at least. Like, I'm not going to be out just chatting up girls at events and whatnot. I'm not even that, like... You know, I'm not some, like, stud. I'm not getting approached by girls and all that. And I, and I, and I, and I don't approach girls that often either so there isn't much to, to worry about regardless um, but yeah even if I was getting approached a lot which is not the case even if I was you know what I, I, I develop tunnel vision if, I, if there's someone I like like you know I stop caring about anyone else it's, 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 it's truly something I'm proud of that I'm doing. And I'm sure other people can can attest to this. I don't care about other girls. A girl that I really like. I don't. I mean that. It's not, it's not hard for me. I don't have to like, oh, Riz, oh no, oh, these bitches. It's so far, I can't, it's not a thing for him. I, I do know guys, and I've told this story, but uh, a friend I have who got engaged, and he was telling me that oh, I've slept with hundreds of women, and I think it's catching up to me because even though I'm engaged, whenever I'm with my fiance, um, the fiance, uh, does, 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 is fiance gendered? A, a, woman, a man and a woman can be a fiance. Right? Who cares, man? Anyway, when I'm with my fiance, she, that sounds weird. When I'm with my girl, I can't help but look at other women. Like my eye, like I'll see some woman walk past me, and I'll just look at her cheeks. And it's like it's automatic. It just happens. Like, my bro, yeah, yeah, you, you sound like you're in trouble. You need to sort that out. I don't know how to tell you. It got to the point where it's like maybe monogamy is not natural. I'm like, no, nah, but that's not, <laughs> that's not it. You've been training yourself in bad behavior for years. It's gonna take some some discipline and hard work to undo all of that. Good luck. You better be loyal to your wife, though. She's she's trusting you and she's giving you herself to you. She's giving herself to you. So better do right by her. But don't now say an argument is not that she's not gonna she's not what is she supposed to say to that? That what okay you can have multiple wives. No. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Cause he thinks the solution to that problem is just okay, just let me sleep with other women baby. It's not the solution. The solution is getting your act together and uh, seeking prayer. Difficult to be loyal. I mean, you don't. Just don't cheat. Just don't cheat. Just don't cheat. Um, people make it sound like the hardest thing in the world. I, 
I do think when you're, when you're when you're not satisfied in your relationship, for example, if you're a woman and your guy isn't taking you out anymore, and he's being distant, and he's being distant, da, 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 he's always working. I can see how other man starts showing you attention. It, not to justify it, it's still wrong, but I can see how you could fall into that trap of like entertaining another person outside of the relationship. The answer isn't to be unfaithful. The answer is to communicate and sort it out in your relationship and be like, hey, 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 hey. You're not showing me enough attention and I'm not going to stand for it. I will not stand for it. This is not what I signed up for. You need to be more attentive to me. That's that's how you handle that. And you make it work. You don't cheat. But I can see how people can end up cheating in that circumstance. But in other scenarios, well, people, things will be going fine. Things will be good. People just... There's the whole lose out here. Just a whole... Not appropriate. just saw a video um, the American pediatric society or something I don't know you know these doctors that, that deal with kids they issued a statement that I found very fascinating uh, this video is from the American College of Pediatricians. Um, and yeah, she, this lady was, 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 was laying out some facts. She's a doctor, she's a professional. Trigger warning, I guess, for some people. Trigger warning. Uh, yeah, she's basically, let me, let me preface this, she's talking about this. push to put uh, uh, these are uh, gender transition uh, treatments on kids and stuff like that and she's just talking about how it's not working and it's you the terrible results and they've been tracking this for a long time and it's, it's just not contrary to a lot of uh, the lies being pushed by, by certain experts, professionals, and whatnot, and, uh, anyway, this is the American College of Pediatricians, so these are, this is an official organization, and, uh, I urge people to, to, to be patient and listen to what she has to say, and I'll do some triggers while homegirl speaks her mind. Hold on. revelations from the leaked WPATH files and the recent release of the final report from the CAS review, these medical organizations have not changed course. So we are calling on these medical organizations of the United States, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, the Endocrine Society, the Pediatric Endocrine Society, the American Medical Association, the American Psychological Association, and the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry to follow the science and their European colleagues and immediately stop the promotion of social affirmation, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries for, sur for children and adolescents who experience distress over their biological sex. In our declaration, we affirm that sex is a dimorphic, innate trait defined in relation 
to an organism's biological role in reproduction, male and female. This genetic signature is present in every nucleated somatic cell in the body and is not altered by drugs or surgical interventions. Consideration of these innate differences is critical to the practice of good medicine and to the development of sound policy for children and adults alike. Medical decision making should be based upon an individual's biological sex. It should respect biological reality and the dignity of the person by compassionately addressing the whole person. We are here to find the claim. I had to rewind because there was a siren going off. I mean, car alarm and uh, this washing machine. Consideration of these innate differences is critical to the practice of good medicine and to the development of sound policy for children and adults alike. Medical decision making should be based upon an individual's biological sex. It should respect biological reality and the dignity of the person by compassionately addressing the whole person. We are here to find the claims made by these medical organizations in the U.S. that those of us who are concerned are a minority and that their protocols are consensus. They are not consensus, and we are speaking in a loud, unified voice enough. So, yeah. She's basically saying that uh, biological sex is obviously a real thing. There are men, there are women, male, female, whatever, and men cannot become women. And when, you, when you're describing medical treatments, especially to children, it's very, very important to to uh, recognize their uh, the biological sex. doesn't matter how they personally identify. You have to treat them according to that because there are obviously differences between men and women biologically, psychologically, and so on and so forth. Um, and she's saying we're not a minority. Hundreds and hundreds of, of doctors have put together a lot of studies and information debunking a lot of this nonsense, which is it's, it's, it's common sense. Right? A, a normal person can, can tell you that men can't become women and vice versa, right? Like, it's, it's obvious. It's not, it's not rocket science. We know this. It's, it's just... But apparently we had to, to, to actually spend money, a lot of the time taxpayer money, to, to do this research because people, people want proof. We want evidence that men and women are different, uh, very different, worlds apart. It's, uh, there was a guy, I forgot his name. He said that the differences between men and women are so vast that we might... We, would would damn near different species. That's how different we are. Obviously, there are a lot of similarities, but oof, man, men and women are very, very, very different. So this notion that um, just because someone identifies as something, they are that thing. It's so crazy. It's just, it's so far from reality. But the the particular claim being made here is towards children so people they, they, so there's this gaslighting that, that takes place right so some people i've had it in my comments as well where people say no one's giving kids puberty blockers no one's giving kids surgery no one's doing this that and third to kids it's a myth it's a it's a right-wing conspiracy theory it's like the lying is insane of course kids are being given surgeries and drugs and so on and so forth that's why they're being asked to stop by professionals, by the medical society. They're saying, stop this. And parents are saying, coming out and giving stories about how their kids started going on, on puberty blockers without their knowing it or because there was some teacher at school that was grooming their child and also, uh, uh, anyway. So the gaslighting is crazy when it comes to this issue. But yeah, it's particularly morbid and disgusting because they're targeting kids. The education system is targeting children with this stuff. And and once a child gets on these drugs and, and starts getting these treatments, or even starts becoming uh, indoctrinated in this thinking, the, a lot of the time the effects are, are irreversible. Particularly with the drugs and the surgeries and so on, because you sterilize the child. With, with with a lot of girls 
they chop off their breasts and your breasts are gone. And if you, you mess with the, the downstairs area, you're sterile now. You can't have children anymore. It's disgusting. They need to stay the hell away from children. I don't know why that's controversial to say. I don't know why people get mad at that. Like, stay away from people's kids. Get this out of school. This should not be in schools at all. It's not gender affirming care. It's a, uh, it's, it's sick. It's, and it's indoctrination. And it's not rooted in any sort of science or biology. If someone wants to do that as an adult, go ahead. Just like there are people who get surgeries to get tails. That's a real thing, by the way. People get surgeries to get tails and and all sorts of and do sorts all sorts of things to their bodies and, and do these body modifications. That's your business, but leave kids out of it, man. Leave children out of it, and stop trying to change the science. You can't change the science. Science is science. Just reality is reality, right? I don't care what any person from this per this place with this degree says. You can't tell me who can see reality that men can become women. There's no amount of research papers you can put out to, to, to change that. You can't tell me that the sky is actually green. I can see with my eyes what's going on. You can't say the moon. You can't tell me the moon is made of cheese. I don't care how many research papers you publish. It's nonsense. So 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 the the field of science has been co-opted by a bunch of frauds who are publishing these fugazi papers, lying to people, saying, you know, there's not, you don't you, these are not scientists, these are scam artists. These are pranksters who should be fired and a lot of them put in jail because of the what what has been done to children as a result. A lot of these kids, man, oof. In the UK, there was this clinic, the Tavistock Clinic. It shut down because it misdiagnosed thousands of children. In a lot of cases, it ascribed to them treatments that would include puberty blockers and surgery, only to find out that they were wrong 100% of the time because men can't become women and vice versa. But in the, especially in the cases in which they prescribed treatments to children that would permanently alter their bodies. They, they misdiagnosed them with gender dysphoria when there were all sorts of underlying issues that they completely ignored and just said, oh, it's because, little girl, you're actually a boy. It's like, no. And the clinic had to shut down. The, the lawsuits were filed against them. A lot of, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people's children are harmed because of that. And yeah, they had, they had to shut down the whole thing. Google, it, Tavistock Clinic shuts down. So it's a terrible story. And these are things that can't be reversed. Once you've cut off your breasts, once you've done this, once you've done that, taking these drugs, puberty blockers, it's it's done. There's no way to reverse that. I, I don't know how people advocate for this nonsense. I don't know how you can do that in good conscience. I have no issue saying this because it's so obvious. It's so obviously true. But you see, the issue with society is full of cowards. Most people agree with this, but they're scared to say it. But guys... The, the more you give these people that are pushing for this radical stuff, the more they're willing to take. You have to speak up at some point. But I think the tide is turning. I think more and more people are coming out and being like, this is not working. In Europe, because this lady said it just now, in Europe, in a lot of places, where the, in, in a lot of these places where they were the most progressive on these issues, they've banned this stuff. Was it Sweden? I think it was Sweden. They've banned... Uh, gender affirming care for children because they saw the results they saw the in the data and they were like this is terrible this is not doing what we thought it would in a lot of cases when they provide this gender affirming care the suicidality the depression doesn't go it gets worse that's what they observed and it's not doing anything it's not having any of the effects that thought they thought it would have in a lot of cases people are detransitioning so but you know people say it's misinformation They'll say it's lies. Leave people's children alone. Don't don't come to kids with this stuff. Don't do it. So yeah, um, the tide is turning. I think more and more people are waking up to the reality that men can't become women and vice versa. It was always absurd. I don't know how we got this far. I don't know why we needed 
to get this far to, to 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 come to such an obvious realization but hey man it is what it is the tide is turning it's becoming more and more it was always fringe but it's becoming more fringe to support this movement you look crazier and crazier the more you advocate for kids taking these experimental drugs and being experimented on and being given these irreversible surgeries it's it's evil these are children leave them alone i've always had an issue with the philosophy of i was born in the wrong body it doesn't make any sense you can't be born in the wrong body you are your body i am my body i'm black i can't change that i am my race i am my gender and my sex I am my height, I am my weight, I, I'm i me, not weight, weight, you know, fluctuates, whatever, but, like, I am that, these are, I'm my body, I am my body, I have a male body, I'm a male, I'm a man, I can't separate myself from that, you know, I wasn't born into the wrong body, I am my body, you kill my body, you kill me, <laughs> It's so simple, guys. I don't know why we have to have debates about this. You can't change your sex. You can't change your gender. You can't change anything. You, you, you are what you are. And you need to accept that you need to make peace with that. Just because someone identifies as something doesn't mean they are that thing. And, uh, you know, it's just so fascinating how the, these same people will have this cognitive dissonance in their minds when we, when you shift to the transracial argument because then they, they can't see how that's it's literally the same thing they'll say no race is different because da, 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 da. so they'll say like if some white girl says she's korean she's crazy she's mentally ill but if a man says he's a woman that's different it's like no guys no it's the same thing we're talking about permanent irreversible immutable characteristics race sex you can't change that you you are that once you're born as that you are that but they can't see it so when a when a when, when a when a white person says they're korean they're like they're like no that's impossible it's impossible you can't be korean because that it is how I want to know what's going on in your mind when a, when, a, when, a, when a person identifies as another species so they say I'm a dog, I'm a cat, I'm a this and a that they're like no it's impossible you are a human, you can't change your, your species it's like there's nothing more fundamental than male and female it's, 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 it's in, in, in many ways more fundamental than left and right because you know left and right can change depending on your position I'm looking at you, my left and right is different from your left and right, you know? So in that sense, it can be subjective. Kind of. But male and female, that's set in stone. Like, that's that's a fundamental part of reality. If you can't acknowledge the difference between men and women, everything else falls away. Well, then you can just rewrite the rules of existence, of reality. You can Men can become dogs. Black people can become Chinese because you 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 completely um, pulled out the foundations of reality, the basic tenets of existence, male and female, just these two poles, the yin and yang. You've discarded them and said they're the same thing or they're interchangeable. They're not. They're not. You can't acknowledge that basic reality. You can't acknowledge any facet of reality. Like your worldview is just it's warped beyond belief. Um, I feel confident saying this because I think most people are coming around and realizing that this whole the whole gender craze was stupid. I think most people are starting to realize, but I might get cooked regardless. I don't know who's gonna, I don't know how people are gonna react. You know, especially in this ASMR community. The ASMR community is, uh, it's very woke. So, it might take some time for people here to catch up. But yeah, the, the tide is turning, guys. Your time is up.
The narrative is falling apart, man. It's falling apart. You need to accept that. Even with like Pride Month, all this sort of stuff, all these organizations that were endorsing Pride Month are now very quiet. A lot of these corporations, shh, shh, they are quiet. Last year, a lot of them were sponsoring all these Pride events. This year, crickets. The, the whole thing is just falling apart. Because y'all, you've gone too far. You've gone too far. People try to give you an inch and you took a thousand miles. Started messing with people's kids. People are over it, man. People have had enough. We're tired, man. Whatever people do in their own spare time, hey, <laughs> that's your business. But leave people's kids alone and stop trying to spread this stuff throughout society. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Don't, don't do that. I just, I, I, I if it would have been fine, right? Because you know what that, uh, gay people from back in the day used to say? We just want to be gay and private. We just want to live our lives and be left alone. A lot of people were fine with that. It, it, but it, it moved from that to we want to be everywhere. There are 145 days in America at least dedicated to a whole lot of gay activity. Let me, let me actually, I saw this. I can find the post real quick. 145 days in, the, in America at least. And I'm sure a lot of people recognize these days internationally as well. So Father's Day and Mother's Day get one day each. But uh, now let's talk about the LGBTQ crowd. March, Bisexual Health Awareness Month. March 31, International Trans Transgender Day of Visibility. April 6, Asexuality Day. April 26, International Lesbian Visibility Day. May 17, International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia, and Transphobia. May 19, Agender Pride Day. May 22, Harvey Milk Day. I don't know what the hell that is. May 24, Pansexual and Panromantic Visibility Day. June, Pride Month. July 6, Omnisexual Visibility Day. July 11 to 17, Non-Binary Awareness Week. July 14, International Non-Binary Day. July 16, International Drag Day. August 14, Gay Uncle Day. Uh, is that real? That can't be real. Gay Uncle Day. It's real, guys. Why? 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 I don't know. September 16 to 22, Bisexual Awareness Week. Se September 23, Bisexual Visibility Day. October, LGBT History Month. How's, like, what? October 11th, National Coming Out Day. <laughs> October 20, International Pronoun Day. October 24, Asexual Awareness Week. November Trans Awareness Month. Didn't we already have? Wasn't that already listed somewhere? There was already a day for the transgenders. Ah, anyway. November 6th, Transgender Parent Day. Even, uh, even the parents get a day. November 8th, Intersex Day of Remembrance. November 13th to 19th, Trans Awareness Week. Trans Awareness Month. How do you have a Trans Awareness Week? November is Trans Awareness Month. So the month is Trans Awareness Month. So, but November 13 to 19 is Trans Awareness Week. Okay. November 20, Transgender Day of Remembrance. December 8, Pansexual Pride Day. 145 days in total. You've gone too far. People try to give you an inch. You took the, mm, took the whole arm, took the whole body, took it, you took everything. People are fed up. People are fed up, like tired. I'm sure you can see why. You know, and 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 you know, it would have been one thing if you had all these days and whatnot. But when you started messing with people's kids, that's when like when 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 when, when social um, services are coming into parents' homes and taking away their children because you're not affirming your child's gender and whatnot, not not. His parents are refusing to go along with this lunacy so now their kids are being taken when, when when you start doing that when that started happening it was a wrap it was a wrap people started realizing oh these people are nuts people are genuinely insane 
Anyway, let me get out of here. I'm very interested to see what the reaction this to, this is, to this is going to be. But uh, I said what I said and I meant what I said. Let's see what people say about it. The washing machine is going crazy. Dear Father God, thank you for this individual watching us right now. Thanks for making them whole, unique, and guiding them on a path towards peace, prosperity, and purpose. Thank you for blessing this person, the wonderful people in my life, who love them, take care of them, bring them to the best of them, and thank you for maintaining the ones that are there to do the same thing. Thank you for blessing this person with love with marriage and maintaining that love of marriage and making it very, 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 very happy. Bless this person with the spirit of gratitude so they can give thanks for all the wonderful, wonderful things in life. And by giving thanks, they can find peace, contentment, and attract even more blessings. Let your presence be found in this person's life so they know that you're God, that you're real, that you love them. You're going to be there for them. Good health, long life, and happiness for this person, everyone that care about you. My name is Rain Jesus. I'm praying. Amen, 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 amen.